Breaking news today coming out of the FBI email investigation into Hillary Clinton's server. So we're waiting now. Um, Trump is going to come out in Maine, and here he is right now. Looks like he's coming up to the stage. We're going to take his comments and see if he makes any remarks regarding this bombshell news that was released in a statement by Comey today. He did mention it earlier in the day at a prior rally, and here's Trump now. Thank you. Thank you. Maine. Maine. Women for Trump. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is some enthusiastic crowd. Thank you. One of the most beautiful places on earth. Thank you very much. As you might have heard earlier today, the FBI after discovering new emails is reopening their investigation into Hillary Clinton. I have great respect for the FBI for righting this wrong. The American people fully understand her corruption and we hope all, all justice will finally be Please. served. This is the biggest political scandal since Watergate. And I'm sure that it will be properly handled from this point forward. Thank you. Now getting back to things that don't sound quite as exciting, but they're so important, right? In 11 days, we're going to win the state of Maine. And we are going to win back the White House. We're going to have. All right, that is Donald Trump addressing his supporters, an enthusiastic and boisterous group there at the mention that the FBI is reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton and her email. So lots of discuss today on a very busy Friday. So Dana, this information came out and really sent shockwaves across the country. It was a 10 on the Richter scale, and if, it was, if you had a political earthquake, and October surprise that um, certainly caught the Hillary Clinton campaign by surprise. They were in the air for two hours on their plane and did not have any Wi-Fi service, so you can imagine uh, the people that are down here on Earth um, are sitting there waiting. They can't get to the secretary. They can't tell her what's going on. She gets off the she, they land, and all of a sudden, can you imagine being told that the FBI is just releases this information, the information's vague, it's 11 days before the election, and Donald Trump, rightly, is taking this political gift as it is and running with it. The crowds are very excited. The one thing we're going to have to talk about through this entire show is trying to ferret out any sort of details that we can get about this, and we've got a good lineup for it coming up. We certainly do, and uh, a lot of information coming out, because right away when this news broke, the question was, where did they uncover this information, the devices, what was the source of the secondary investigation that was separate from it, where all of a sudden these agents that were investigating came across this information, brought it to the attention of the director, who obviously had to review it, determined that it was of significance, and then was prompted to have to make a public statement about it. Greg, your face, the grin, yes. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy because, once again, Anthony Weiner has made my life great because if it wasn't for him, we'd be talking about polls for the next 11 days instead of... Anyway. <laughs> for Hillary, this is like a week before your wedding and you catch the groom with your sister. But you can't do anything because you already paid for the catering and the travel accommodations and you're screwed. The only person that's happy right now is Bill Clinton because it's glad he's glad it's that wiener that got Hillary in trouble. Uh, but this is, this is, um, the most important issue here is her judgment. What, she's sharing classified information with Huma. 
who's married to a compromised pervert, one who could be extorted into the service of stealing more information. Hillary is surrounded by deviants, and that's a problem, and that leaves our security exposed. So that's actually the serious piece of this story, mm -hmm. is that she is compromised by not getting away from these people. And, you know, uh, Trump, uh, Bowling mentioned this before, was tying, the, you know, the nexus together with Clinton, Uma Abedin, Anthony Weiner, national security, and making that case to say this is someone that cannot be trusted because she has surrounded herself by people who could compromise yeah, Trump, her position. Trump did that when Uma Abedin left Anthony Weiner after the third occasion where she found out that he was sexting, and this time was young, you know, allegedly sexting young uh, women and, and Trump said, "Hey, good choice, good, good choice, uh, Uma, because look what you're doing. You're putting you're putting Hillary Clinton at risk. If if she were to become president, you're putting the country at risk. So the, the FBI is hand is forced because they must have found substantial evidence tying the leaks of of, of tying the information that could have been classified. It must have somehow ended up in Anthony Weiner's BlackBerry <laughs> and." No, I'm being serious. No, they're not going to reopen this. Anthony Weiner is no, like, no, they're not going to reopen this case unless they have substantial and probable cause to do it. I mean, they're just not going to. Even if they found some things, or oh, you know, we found some emails and there was some classified stuff on there and that, that would look bad. This has to be quite a bit of information that they found. I don't think they would be doing this. I will say this is more pro. This is the, in fact, craziest, wackiest election in the history of elections. Where do you go? It's, it's got to be unprecedented that you find uh, classified, alleged classified material or, uh, or compromising material on a guy who's sexting an underage woman. It, it's just in incredible. And that may be the October surprise and turning point for an election. And also information can be kept and maintained in the cloud. And sometimes couples, families share the same uh, cloud storing for pictures, other things. You have access to multiple devices Use for cloud, it. whether it's a iPhone or an iPad or a home desktop or a laptop. There's multiple sources and streams of forensic that can be pulled to be able to obtain information. The first thing that I'm thinking about, Juan, is, you know, Huma Abedin could be in trouble, too, because of any statements that she's made, whether or not any she perjured herself or did Hillary Clinton perjure herself. That's all you're going to tie it together, because now you have the interview that she did with the FBI, and if they have uncovered and could you know, pursuant to this now reopened investigation, information that shows that she made inconsistent statements uh, contrary to perhaps even emails that she sent to Mabedin back and forth, et cetera. This could get very complicated and very serious. So it's a very serious. I mean, I, I agree. I think it's as explosive. And I mean, it's like all the King's Men. I mean, this is a great political novel, crazier than ever. And you just, the characters abound. I mean, not only Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, but now we have Anthony Weiner playing a central role. But what we know, and we'll get more from the reporters in a moment, but what we know so far is this is so peculiar because it's not tied in to the previous investigation per se. There's no allegation apparently that Hillary Clinton or Hillary Clinton's associates were withholding email. There was no email here from Hillary Clinton is what we have learned so far. It's not from her server. Uh, apparently the device is one that's owned by either Huma Abedin or Anthony Weiner. This is not There's related. Four devices. Yeah, but and it was not related to what we were discussing earlier in the week, which was that there was in the WikiLeaks information that was put out. Apparently, Cheryl Mills, who was uh, Clinton's lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, was saying, "Hey, we know about this, and we think it's a problem, and are people dealing with this problem?" And it went back and forth. Th this is none of that. So this is like a totally separate thing. I think it gets conflated quite quickly because there's so much political energy around this. Like for Four like, devices. Yeah, but and it was not related to what we were discussing earlier in the week, which was that there was in the WikiLeaks information that was put out. Apparently, Cheryl Mills, who was uh, Clinton's lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, was saying, hey, we know about this and we think it's a problem and are people dealing with this problem? And it went back and forth. Th this is none of that. So this is like a totally separate thing. I think it gets conflated quite quickly because there's so much political energy around this. Like for Republicans, as we saw from the Donald Trump crowd, all of a sudden, new hope. Maybe this is going to change things. And from the Democrats, I think they're shocked. That's why John Podesta today said, put up or shut up. Maybe this is going to change things. And from the Democrats, I think they're shocked. That's why John Podesta today said, put up or shut up. We're missing the headline here.
The FBI reopened an investigation into Hillary Clinton's I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Well, that's they, what he said. No, they never closed it, but they're going to reinvestigate. They're reinvestigating. Re yes, but for a reason, though, Juan. And this is going to, this, we talked about this quite extensively while the FBI was originally investigating Hillary Clinton's emails. It's the intent issue. Intent, and they, and they came back and they said, well, you need to show intent. Well, the law clearly says you don't need to show intent if you're ne negligent. Mm -hmm. By accident, you're still held culpable. Although now it may not be Hillary's emails, but if she was completely negligent and in classified dangerous material goes from Hillary to Huma to Anthony Weiner to who knows where, there's no intent on Hillary's part, but she will be likely investigated, maybe prosecuted. What Comey said, possibly indicted. What Comey said before was Peter there was Gay. no not intentional Gay. mishandling. And I mean, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It really it doesn't. I'm just saying that that issue has been litigated and argued over. Well, and maybe it not. Maybe it will be really. That's not a requisite Hillary's, element that you have. Hillary's to have crime was a cover up. Weiner's crime was he wouldn't cover up. Right. <laughs> but you know, you know what's amazing? Thanks for clearing that up. You know what's great about this story and why it's so important and mm. so good? It's the FBI. It came from the FBI. It didn't come from WikiLeaks. It didn't come from National no. Enquirer. This came from or a Russia. source. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come from uh, an anarchist working with Putin. Mm -hmm. It Thank came you. from the FBI. And that that is why this is so important, because it's part of the American process. It's it's not rigged at all. Not rigged. Okay, and they've also come from, so one of the devices to be Anthony Weiner's, one of the devices to be Humabedin. So now we have to determine, in fact, what the other two devices are. But much more on this breaking news day. Stay right there. More reaction from the Trump campaign. And we're going to check in with our other reporters traveling with the Clinton campaign coming up. Stay with us.